Metro security guard who was gunned down last weekend will be laid to rest this week. Today, veterans and Sullivan community members honor James Cook. Fox News' Ty Hawkins explains how they all came together. Well, you got to show respect for this service. You know, that's what we do. The flagman's mission continues, and members of the Sullivan Christian Church put up flags to recognize fallen Metrolink security guard, 30-year-old James Cook. Cook was gunned down January 31st while working security at the Del Mar Loop Metro Station. It's a way of bringing the community together and giving the community the tools, the flags, the equipment so they can pay tribute and pay respect to a fallen hero. Flags were put up in Cook's hometown and the last place he called home, Sullivan. We put up uh, 500 in, in Steelville for the funeral home in the hometown, original hometown of James and we plan on putting up about 1,500 here if we get enough volunteers. So. Kellis Richardson was a friend of Cook's who also served our country. He helped out, but says the situation has been tough to fathom. Such a, a shame that, you know, you, you go through what you go through in the military to come home and, and uh, you know, something like that happens here. You don't expect it. Richardson contacted Sullivan city officials who agreed to lower city flags to half staff in honor of Cook. I got the VFW. They're going to put out probably a couple hundred flags out in front of the VFW today or tomorrow, but for Tuesday. There will be a visitation at Hudson Funeral Home in Steelville from 4 to 8 p.m. on Monday. Tuesday, there will be a visitation at Sullivan Christian Church from 9 to 11 a.m., followed by the funeral service. Along with the veterans, the Sullivan community has come together to help the Cook family. If you'd like to help, there has been a GoFundMe page created as well. You can find more information about how you can help on our website in this story at fox2now.com. Reporting in Sullivan, Ty Hawkins.